In this tutorial, I'll show you how to pose a complex garment like this jacket, which has double layers and a very low particle distance on these outer layers in order to capture all those wrinkles. You can see the particle distance is 3. Now, if you have a very strong computer, you probably won't run into any issues. But for those of you who don't have such a powerful computer, like me, if you just try to pose him with everything the way it is, bring up his arrangement points, and we try to move his arms, either the program will crash or the clothes will explode into a very artistic explosion. So what do we do? Before we do any posing to him, we need to raise the particle distance. But before we change the particle distance, you may want to look at what the particle distance is now, so you know what to change it back to afterwards. So both of these colors are 8, the top layer is 3, and the whole bottom layers are 8. So I'm going to select everything and raise the particle distance to 15, enter, synchronize, and then simulate. Every time after you raise or lower particle distance, you have to simulate for it to take effect properly. And now we can pose him. So with simulation on, I'll bring up his x-ray joints. And then we can take this arm down here. And we can rotate it up a bit. Or you could load in a pose which you made before. And you can tug at the cloth to get it around the way that you want it to be. Let's lower this arm as well and give it a slight bend. Alright, so let's say that this great pose is what we want. And now how do we get all that nice detail back? Well, all we have to do is put back the particle distance that was there before. Sounds pretty easy. So I'm going to select everything and then type in 8, enter, and then spacebar to simulate or click this button here and let that simulate for a moment or two. And if there's some lump that you don't think is too appealing or the zipper starts curving in like this, then we should fix that before we reduce the particle distance even more. And if one side is okay or most of it is okay, then you can just find which sleeve it is that's giving you the trouble, select everything else, deactivate it, and go on that sleeve, raise the particle distance again, and then tug on it. Right, that's better. So I'll lower it back to 8 again. And I'll select the zipper part here, activate it, and then select my sleeve, deactivate that, and deal with my zipper. And there we go. You can keep that frozen since it doesn't have to be reduced any further. Then deal with our rest of our jacket. I'm going to activate it and you could leave the base layer which is underneath frozen if you wanted to, but don't leave it deactivated because if you have one layer deactivated and the other one active, the active one will go through the deactivated one because it's not existent. It's like deactive and then it will cause you trouble. So now as for the top layer, I'm going to reduce that first to five, take it down by increments and let that think it over and then simulate Sp space bar or click here. And we're starting to see some more detail again. Now pause the simulation, select my layer again, and lower the particle distance to 3. And then simulate. And there we go. I think the simulation is done now, so I paused it. Now you can see we have all that nice detail back again that we had before. And a new pose. Then I'll activate all the other pieces too. And there we go. So that's how to pose complex clothing, which is at a low particle distance. And I hope that helps you.